Hello everybody, this is Mr. Farley and we are going to have our first lesson in Photoshop. You won't find it on your dock, so you have to go to your applications folder as normal and find Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. Go into that folder, find the app, make sure you find the app, and then drag that down to your dock and place it so it's right there so you can use it next time. Once you have that done, I want you to find a picture of yourself. Um, I found just found a picture of myself. You can use Photo Booth if you want to take your picture. Um, that's fine. Uh, I can't find it right now. It doesn't matter. Um, take your picture. Find a picture of yourself. Uh, take a picture with your phone. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, get a picture of yourself somehow. Get it onto your desktop. If it's Photo Booth, just drag it out. Drop it onto your desktop. Same with on the internet. All right, and then find somewhere that you want to go or put yourself. And I found Mars because I've always wanted to go to Mars. All right. After you've done that, grab your picture, drop it into the PS, right into the Photoshop, dot, right, in, right there in your dock. Photoshop will open. Photoshop will open with your picture. Okay, this is Photoshop right here. And the only thing we're going to work with today is this tool down here, which is the eraser tool. Um, and maybe some layers over here. Right now, notice it says, this is these are where my layers are. Notice it says background. So this is a background layer right now. And it's locked. There's a lock there. Um, we want to remove that lock and make it not a background layer. So we're, I'm just going to double click that layer. Double click the layer. You can name the layer. So I can name this Mr. Farley if I want. Should always name your layers. It makes your life a lot easier. Click OK. Now you can see the lock is gone. All right. Um, I'm just going to Apple Z just to, to undo that. See, now it's undone. And I'm going to use my eraser just to show you what's going to happen. So if I, if I started erasing with my eraser, notice it erases to white. You don't want it to erase erase to white. What I'm actually doing is I'm painting really white. Whatever this color is back here on this little square, that's what I'm erasing to. So I'm erasing my pixels and replacing them with white. That's not what I want to do. I want to get rid of all these pixels so that it's transparent, so I can put myself somewhere else. Um, you can only do that if you double click your layer. All right, so double click my layer, unlock it, and now you'll see that I'm able to erase and I get these checkerboards. The checkerboards when you see them that means there's nothing there. It's transparent. All right. Now I can go on forever like this but this is agony just erasing with such a small eraser. So I'm going to use the um, right brackets and the left brackets to resize my eraser. So I can use my right bracket and just erase a bunch. Oop, almost, almost erased myself there. If you accidentally erase yourself, like, oops, just uh, Command-Z will get you back one step, which is nice. Um, if you erase your, yeah, I'll, I'll show you later if you erase uh, more than yourself, more than that, more than one step back. So erase big, with a big eraser to get rid of most of it like this. And then once you want to get in closer, left bracket, left bracket to make a smaller eraser and get do better like this. All right. Now, when you get around your hair, your hair needs what's called a soft eraser. Right now, I have a very hard eraser, which means the edge is very sharp. You know, and that's good for getting around places like your shirt, um, places in here. Oops, Command Z. Um, but when you get around your hair, you want a soft eraser. What you want to do then is just go up here and click this little button right here. That's your brush. So the, you can see I, I, got, I can get a really soft eraser right there. That's very gradual. You can also, also control it right here, hardness. Hard eraser is, is really sharp on the edges. And, and a, you know, if I decrease the hardness, it gets very soft. So I now I have a so very soft eraser. All right. And now I'm going to erase. And if a bigger eraser is actually gives you more softness so you'll get the hang of it so just go around your hair 
in places that you sort of want to blend into the background with a soft eraser. All right, good. And now I want to bring my picture in, my, my Mars. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm just going to drag it to Photoshop. All right, it's over the top of my picture. Um, oh, actually, it's not. It's 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 opened up in a new tab here. So I got tabs. There's me. There's Mars. There's me. There's Mars. Um, what I want to do is I want to drag this layer into this tab. So it's over here. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to grab this background layer right here that's Mars, and I'm going to drag it over here. Drop it up there. I haven't even dropped it yet. I'm still holding on to it it automatically flips to this other layer and then I can drag it down and drop it. And now it's in front of me. To put it behind me, I just have to drag this layer back here like this. All right, now I clearly need to resize this layer a little bit and move it around. So I'm gonna click this tool right here. I can move it around. It's not big enough to fill the screen though. So I'm going to do a Command T. So Command T, Get you little the little dots, you know, resize dots all around. Um, and I'm gonna hold down Shift, and I'm going to resize my picture. Holding down Shift just keeps it all proportional, so you don't make it skinny or fat. That's important with people and backgrounds a little bit. You, you know, if I just did this, you know, make my picture skinny or fat like that. I don't want to do that. So hold down Shift and grab it by the corner. It keeps it all nice and proportional. So that's good. Oop, that was good. All right, so that's good. Press return when you're done. All right, those little those transform dots go away. I don't know what happened up here. Must have erased it or something. Um, all right, looking good, huh? All right, um, next thing I want to do is match the colors. So these colors don't work at all. I'm in a really red environment here. I should be redder. All right, so I'm going to click this layer since I'm changing the colors of, of me. And I'm going to go to Image Adjustments Match Color. Image adjust Adjustments Match Color uh, just helps you so much with getting the colors to match because these this lighting was nothing like this lighting so down here is what you have to set source I'm looking at Mars so I want my color match woo, to look at Mars all right and if it works instantly you're 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 good um, I find this to just not always work okay um, so yeah Mars background um, okay um, it worked um, Last time I did it, it said um, merged right here. So, um, yeah. In the instruction, it'll, it'll say merged as well. But it's working right now. Um, I'm just, it's way too bright, right? So I'm going to take the luminance, maybe make it a little darker here. Um, the fade is usually my favorite because just fades the effect, all right? There's nothing. That's how it was. And you can just sort of bring it in, you know. So it's kind of mellow like that. You can either decide whether you want it to be full on, full on Martian light on you or not. But I like that. That's good. The preview gets you back to where it was, where it is now, back to where it was. All right. You can go. All right. That's good. And you really want to just mess with these until until you look like you blend in better, and you'll you can see the difference. All right. Click OK when you're done. All right. I am done. I'm good. Now another thing you can do. You know, definitely right here, I f did not um, erase all that. So I'm I'm doing Command plus to zoom in. Get used to that one. Command plus, Command minus to zoom out. Um, and space bar to grab the hand and move yourself around. All right, so back to the eraser tool here. And, you know, get rid of this. This is yucky. Still got a, still got a um, soft brush, but that's all right. Just f you can still fix yourself up here, get get it looking good. Space bar, look around. All right, you can give yourself a little haircut if you got some some hair that's not working. Whoops, Command Z. If you mess up a lot of times like this, oops, oh my God, I've messed myself up completely. Um, Command Z only works once. Get out of here. All right, you gotta yeah. 
if if that happens, open up the history panel right here, the little history palette. And what this does is it shows you everything you've done. And you can just go back in time. Alright, which is pretty cool. Alright. There we go. And then close it back up. It's that button right there, history. Alright. And I think I'm back to back to where I was before I really messed it up. Alright. Command minus. To zoom back out. Awesome. Looking good. Ready to save. Got to save twice in Photoshop. File save as. All right. Do your name. A Farley. Eraser. Zero zero one. All right. Should go to your documents folder. Make yourself a new folder in there called Photoshop. I already have one, of course. There's my new one. All right. You're going to save this as a .psd. That's a Photoshop document. Okay. So it says right down here, for Photoshop. Photoshop has all the layers in it. All the, you know, something you can work on again. All right. Um, save. Did I put it in my Photoshop? I did not. Yeah, there it is. Good, good. Save. All right. But that you, This is not the picture that you can post to Google+. Plus. You got to save it again. File save as... JPEG is what you want for, for Google+. Plus. Okay, The name is going to stay the same, whatever you called it. It's, it's going to have a JPEG on there. Don't type that JPEG in there. Okay, That's cheating. You can't hack the JPEG and make a Photoshop document a JPEG. It doesn't work. So it's got to be format JPEG. Choose it here. All right. Once you choose it there, save. You'll have some options here how JPEG is compression, so you can have a large file or a really small file that looks terrible. You know, keep it high. Keep it high. No, po no point in uh, messing with your quality or anything like that. But just know that you can adjust it there. I'm usually around, around 8 high. Good. Okay. New battery. Oops. All right. And now you're going to post to Google+. Plus. Hashtag... My first composite, I believe it is. Check the website. You'll see what the hashtag is. Okay, that's it. Have fun.